Tony, thank you. The ripple effects of the collapse of two banks nationally are being felt here in Rhode Island. As Target 12 first reported earlier this week, the state pension plan lost about $2.5 million. And now banks in the region are trying to calm the nerves of customers worried about instability in the financial industry. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the details. Because of the history here, Rhode Islanders are understandably more sensitive to banks in distress than in most other parts of the country. Following the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank in California and Signature Bank in New York, investors got jittery about banks writ large, and regional banks in other parts of the country have seen depositors pull out their cash and move them to larger institutions over fears they could lose their money. Our team has reached out, and again, we're free, uh, free uh, not afraid, we are uh, ensuring that there's no contagion happening because of SVP. General Treasurer James Diosa says Rhode Island banks are telling him that's not happening here. And we've gotten strong signs from all of our financial institutions, and so I think that's an important message to all uh, Rhode Islanders that we're, we're in a good place. For community banks, a spokesperson for Centerville Bank said in an email they are owned by their depositors and our customers have recognized this distinction and it has been business as usual for us. A spokesperson for Rhode Island-based Citizens Bank, one of the larger institutions in the country, says they are seeing a higher than normal interest from prospective new customers this week. Well, it does bring back a lot of unhappy memories from the great Rhode Island banking crisis. Senator Sheldon Whitehouse was the chief legal counsel for Governor Bruce Sundlin when nearly 20 Rhode Island banks and credit unions had to close their doors in 1991. The difference here is it didn't fall between administrations so that uh, the new administration didn't have the capability to head off uh, the disaster that followed in Rhode Island. In this case, the Biden administration responded very strongly and very quickly. But there has been some impacts to this latest financial crisis. The four banks with the largest share of deposits in Rhode Island all saw their stock prices fall in the wake of the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.